everybody, Noreen here from OrganizedAndCreativeMom.com. Thanks so much for joining me today on the channel. So recently I had the pleasure of doing a Facebook Live on the Creative Scrapbooker Magazine Facebook page. And during that video I shared some ideas on how to use Creative Memories punches and how to get more uh, more bang for your buck, how to use them in, in more versatile ways. And during the, the video, of course, some people couldn't see very well, and I wasn't able to fully show some of these techniques. So I thought I'd do another quick little video to show you how to use these punches. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the tulips decorative border punch, all right? Now, the border punches from Creative Memories that are standalone um, have these little base plates on them. And just like the other punches, they have the locking mechanism, which allows the punch to be stored flat, not take up quite as much space. And when you have it unlocked, of course, that creates the punch mechanism or the punching motion. These punches are actually completely standalone. You don't need anything else to use them. So let me show you how it works and then we'll show a couple of different ways that you can get maximum versatility with them. First of all, what I like to do anytime I get a new border punch is to take my black pen and to actually draw little lines on the side. There are two small lines on the plate itself where you slip the paper in, but they can be difficult to see. So I like to just draw the lines a little bit up uh, and onto the side so that when I'm looking at it, I can see where my paper goes. And those um, lines are where you start your paper. So you can either start your edge of your paper, line up your edge of your paper here and move this way, or start the edge of your paper there and move that way. So I've got some leaf green cardstock here. I'll just undo my punch. And I'm going to start it this way. So I place my cardstock on the base plate and slide it in, see if I can show you here, until it lines up with the mark that I've created. Okay. I like to hold one finger on this plate while I use my other hand to push down. And then I'm gonna slide my paper through and you can see that this little tulip is gonna line up with that little printed tulip or drawn tulip on the base plate, okay? So that's how you know you're in the right spot. Continue holding down with this side, punch, slide and line up, punch, slide and line up, punch, and I think we've got a couple more. Once your paper goes into the rest of the cartridge, I like to hold it on this side. And here is my last punch. So you can see, there's all my little bits there. You can see that that is a beautiful, beautiful border punch. Let me get a piece of black cardstock so you can see. And that's gonna be lovely just as is. But what if we could do a few other things to it to make it even more special? Let's take a look. So here I've taken a piece of uh, cardstock and I've used it as a photo mat and I've just created the design along the top edge of that photo mat. One of the good things to know, and you can do this with any of your standalone punches, is to measure. But basically your, your image size is going to be about two inches. So that's good to keep in mind because then you know that you can punch the design maybe twice along a four inch piece of paper, three times along a six inch, etc. Okay, so that's a handy thing to know. And I like the way that that really sets off the photo and you can create a really pretty look. Now for this border, I've simply punched out two strips, identical um, strips from the same double-sided pattern paper. This happens to be the blend and blue, blend and bloom blue paper. And then when I turn one of them over, you can see that some of the flowers will kind of be facing in that direction and some of them will be facing in the opposite direction. So when you layer them over top of each other, you get a really lovely varied effect. 
For this border down at the bottom, I've simply punched one strip uh, out of the dark evergreen, and then I punched um, several strips out of different pink papers from the Blend and Bloom collection. So and again, all I'm going to do is trim off some of the little individual flowers and use my repositionable adhesive and I can simply add my little flowers on top, uh, right on top of the, the green border so that all of a sudden I have a lovely grassy green or leafy green border with a variety of different colored tulips on the top. And speaking of grass, if you missed out on last year's grass border maker cartridge, this would be a really great substitute. So I've simply cut or punched uh, another row of the tulips out of the same leaf green I was using earlier. And then I've just taken my scissors and I'm just trimming off, let me move this so you can see a little bit better. I'm just trimming off some of these flowers so that I have the leafy stems and it will take a little bit of time but you can just kind of trim down between the uh, the leaves there and you can see that you'll have a nice grassy border so that's definitely another way that you can use the tulips decorative border punch so I hope that's given you a few different ideas again take a look at your punches think about what if what if I turned the paper? What if I punched uh, upside down? What if I only used part of the punch? What can I do with these punches to make them more versatile and allow me to use them more often and not just collect dust in my drawers? Thanks very much for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye for now.